Rest, comfort, dream, dream. warmth, escape. escape. Now, in classical terms, a therapist would go on and do a Parkinson's operation, okay, which is to try and include the minds together. So that's one way to do it. That becomes an obvious technique. What I'm more curious about is what is the unconscious mind getting from this and how can I change it? So it includes this. I can't work with a client if they're, they're split. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's, that's a clinical term, split. I need to include both of these values together, if you work on those values, and include both these ideas together and see which one wins the fight. We could go on our routine, let's say take care of, for example, do the whole gym thing. Okay? Let's say Kerry's example of I need to go walk or, or whatever the case may be. What advice could we have given to Kerry to motivate her to just go for a walk? It doesn't sound like much, does it? Think I'll walk, I could do that. How often do we say I'm going to go for a walk after dinner? We don't do it. What advice could we give Kerry to help motivate her? Join a group. Get a dog, I heard. What else? Walking friend. Get a walking friend, beautiful. What else? Get someone to drop you off miles away from Ramsey Baptist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Track you in the park, yes. What else do we tell Carrie to remind about that? Employ someone to nag you until you finally do it. Sorry? Employ someone to nag you until you Yeah, pay someone to nag Carrie to do it. What else? Sorry, okay, I'm not picking on you, I just, yes, hopefully it's like that. Good news. What else are we tell you? A reward? A reward, yeah. What else? Set an alarm. Set an alarm. Now, let's ask Carol, I'll ask you personally, Carol. You've thought of all this before, haven't you? Yeah. Have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so all this great advice that seems great to us, she's done it. What does that tell us about advice? However, if I find out what she's getting from this, I can then start to shift her thinking so these become inclusive rather than exclusive. You're Again, almost, we're getting... You're almost trying to validate both sides of the, yeah. of the problem. Yeah. There has to be an unconscious uh, reward. Because the unconscious mind wants to look after Karen and make her healthy. Why is it not doing it? It's not doing its job. So there has to be something unconsciously that's happening, but although it knows what to do, it's stuck on doing something else. So this is our next point of call, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through the interview again, we're gonna have lunch in about six minutes. Um, you are now taken through the interview, but I want you to, when you get to maybe a little unconscious moment and they go, well, no, yeah, I just, you know, I want this in my life. I want you to give them some advice. Oh, no. <laughs> I want you to try your hardest to give them all your thoughts about what they could do to overcome this. So for an example, if I'm working with a smoker and they're saying, no, I smoke here, I smoke here, this, this and this, and then I find out through conversation that they, um, they smoke because it's the only real pleasure they have in life as a whole. And then I might give some advice and say, well, what else do you like to do? What some other hobbies you could adopt? Why don't you go to the movies? Why don't you go find a friend, go to a meetup group, go drive your car, go walk your dog? And without getting violent with each other, <laughs> <laughs> because who likes to be told things? Any takers? Who likes to be given advice? Who's ever found themselves in a uh, less than happy mood? Being frustrated? And what do your best friends try and do? Cheer up. Why are you so angry? Life's not that bad. And you think, I'm going to punch you in a minute. <laughs> Would we all agree? Yeah. So without being violent, let's have some fun with this. I just want to show you the value of giving advice at the wrong time. There is a right way to do it, but not the way you think. That's not confusing at all, is it? So, have a chat. When you get to some point, offer some advice. And let's just see, do you get an unconscious moment from that advice? Or do they just do the whole thing like, yeah, that's a good idea. And you think, damn it, that's in the lashes. Have some fun, give some advice, and then we'll get a lunch. Same person. Same person.